What specific proposals do you have to address the illegal immigration problem? And we'll start off with Rob Merkel. Well, um, first of all, I think the illegal immigration problem is uh, one of national security. And there's a lot of ways we can address this. First of all, we need to enforce the laws that are already on the books. Uh, we're not doing that right now, and there's a lot of reasons. Republicans as well as Democrats have been liable for this. You know, big business has kind of winked and nodded and, and looked. Um, but we need to start enforcing that. Second thing is border security. You know, we built a railroad in the 1800s with hand tools and dynamite from one end of this country to the other. It took us less than four years to do it. You can't tell me that we can't secure our borders. Now, it's not just the southern border, because that's what everybody talks about. But when you look at who's actually coming across the southern border, 40% of them are not Hispanic. So who are they? That doesn't count our ports, which are civs. It doesn't count the northern border with Canada. And Canada has practically no immigration restrictions. So once they're in, it's a short walk through the forest to get the United States. Now, people have talked about deporting illegal immigrants who are already here. In my search business, I see people from foreign countries every day. And they embody American <coughs> exceptionalism. They have the courage. They have the drive. They have the dreams. They take education seriously. They have strong family values. They want to build something. And they come here because this is the place to do it. And they do it legally. And I think their inclusion in our society is a benefit to us because it keeps us from getting complacent. Now, we're not going to get rid of 20 million illegal immigrants, if that's a number. However, we can put into place a policy that is not amnesty, that imposes penalties for back taxes, costs for their citizenship, requirements that they learn English and know our laws, and know their civics, to become citizens. If they haven't done that, or if they're criminals, if they're engaged in illicit activity, if they're on the government dole and they're just lazy, get them out. Let them start over and let them try to come back through legitimate channels. Thank you. You know, my grandmother was an immigrant to this country. She came over from Scotland. I had the opportunity to uh, see her just recently uh, while I was uh, visiting her uh, down in Florida. I think she helped this country. I think that we need immigration. We're all immigrants and the descendants of them. We need to invest as a country in human capital. We need to make sure that we are skimming off the best and brightest from around the world so they can contribute to our economy, so they can enrich our society and make us better and stronger. But we cannot selectively enforce our laws. They're on the book, and if we pick and choose which ones we're going to actually say, hey, you know what, this one, uh, this is an important one, but that one, not so much, that's a dangerous thing. We need to make sure that we go to the root of the cause. We need to make sure that employers aren't violating our laws by knowing <coughs> we're employing illegal immigrants. Now, there's a system that's been set in place. It's called E-Verify. It's, uh, it, you know, just, it, is it a, a foolproof system? No. There are flaws within it. But it's a starting point. I think we need to examine uh, looking into the development of this and uh, application uh, to industry as a whole. Uh, they're already starting to do it with governmental organizations. Uh, but we need to make sure that we create an environment that is friendly to those who do believe in the American dream, who want to come here, and who want to contribute to the United States of America, and have made this country great to this day. Immigration is a very important part of the American way of life. We're all going to talk about how, at some point, our family were immigrants here. And but at the same point, whereas it's an important part of the American way, it's an important part of our economy, we just simply can't forgive people who come here and break our laws. If we were to hold open the golden door of legal immigration, we have to close the door of illegal immigration. Absolutely. But in many ways, illegal immigration is a symptom. Let's talk about the cause. Now let's talk about it right here in Connecticut. Because we have a phenomenal, a phenomenal rate of illegal immigration for a state that's so far away from many of the places where they're coming from. But why is it? Because it's so expensive to do business here. 
You've all seen it. You see it amazingly here in Fairfield County. You see it in some of the wealthiest towns. You see all the immigrants that are sitting there waiting on the highway entrance ramp to get a job. And they get picked up for the day. And frankly, they're getting abused. They're getting paid rates that are much lower than what's legally there. But why are people doing it? Because government regulation makes it so expensive to do business here. They break the law. And they take, a, they take a, a, frankly, a terrible way out. We need to enforce the, le the, the legal immigration laws, absolutely. But we also need to look at how can we make it more affordable to do business? How can we get a government regulation out of the way of our small business people so that they can afford to do this and they're not out there looking for ways they can cut corners? Um, I represent the uh, only candidate in this room, in this, on this panel, that is of Hispanic descent. Certain level of um, relevance to my own background in that my parents came over from Cuba uh, in '55. Uh, they had passports and stuff like that, short visas. But I think uh, under the conditions that we exist right now, uh, you would find that freedom-loving people such as my parents would have jumped in a raft or anything to get here. There's an amazing draw that this country has that it offers the rest of the world. It's something that we at times take for granted, and that's freedom. Uh, freedom is like a magnet, and it's, it's bringing people up here because what people realize with freedom, and you know, it's not a very detailed discussion in their brains, but what they do realize is that if they work hard, they get rewards, and that's quite unique in the world. We don't understand how wonderful that is that our country rewards us for our hard work and that we can then buy things and those things become our property. Um, what I will say though is that illegal immigration does offer a, um, a, a massive national threat and I am in favor of putting up massive walls so that we can control, take control of our immigration. I do believe that. However, now with the 20 million or so people that are here today, I must say that Pragmatically speaking, politically speaking, you speaking in any way you want, you're not going to get those folks out of here in any way that's acceptable to the world economy or to the world opinion. So my recommendation is a blue card. And the blue card is not a green card. A green card is a friendly card. A blue card is an unfriendly card that says to the illegal immigrant, you're here, you're here illegally, and you got to get out and become legal to get a green card. Or when you work, your employer will pay into the system, to the social security system, to pay for everything else that you're costing us, but you specifically will not get credit for that. Right. You have to get a green card to get that credit. Thank you. Dandy DeSalle. So, guess who is the most pissed off about illegal immigration? Legal immigrants. <laughs> uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law came over here from Argentina, and my mother-in-law waited three years to come. And she sees people running across the border without waiting in line. This is an inherently unfair way to do things. That's why I propose that we actually do make it easier to come here legally. If you have a job, you should be able to get a visa, assuming you're not a security threat, and come here and work. If you lose that job and don't find a new one within three months, you have to go home. At the same time, we need to crack down on illegal immigrants. And we do need to try to send them home, especially when we say it's very easy to come here legally. And we should deport them. And we should, as Will said, crack down and punish companies that hire illegal workers with strict penalties. But two other things that we need to do that I've actually fought for up in Hartford in the state legislature. First is I've introduced a bill three years in a row now to deny illegal immigrants driver's licenses. We should not make it easy for illegal immigrants to come here. And second, uh, and where I was successful, is in fighting back a bill that Tony Boucher and I both worked on uh, to fight this bill that the Democrats proposed giving in-state tuition to illegal immigrants. Outrageous. When your kids are facing 8-9% increases in college tuition, the Democrats want to give in-state tuition to illegals. We fought that back and it did not pass. So you have here someone who has a very personal connection to making sure legal immigration is increased, but also a passion to make sure that those who break the law are not allowed to enjoy uh, the benefits that America, uh, that America brings. Thank you. Thank you.